So I want to talk about free agency a little bit, and I know you're in tune with it, but for P at least, you know, we got Russell Westbrook back on the Clippers, and I know you're a huge fan of Russ. I love him. I'm so happy he's back as well. Someone tweeted or something like, it might have been one of the biggest pay cuts in NBA history to stay with the Clippers, but talk about how much that means to you uh, with Russ staying with the Clippers. Yeah, I mean, shit, shout out Russ, dog. Like, <laughs> shout out Russ. We like that's a steal, right? Like you get Russ at the minimum, that is a steal. P, seven point eight. They can I know. give him eight. I know, I know, but <laughs> like you know what? Too. The thing is, though, like, like Russ on. is Russ is doing so well off the court that like that he's not moved by money. Like, and I talked to him before, and it's funny because I was like, as I'm talking to him, and I know like what we can offer him. And it's like, it's an awkward moment. Like, should I recruit him? Like, back? Yeah, you don't want to be like this. I don't want to like, be that guy yeah, that, like, yeah. bro, lowball you. Like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Like, hey, what do you so, got for me? Well, yeah. uh, now that we're talking about So when I was, I'm texting him, I'm talking to him, and I'm just like, basically, like, you know, <laughs> just keep us as an option. Like, you know, like, we would love to have you back, basically. Like, I'm thinking, like, ah, he, no way he coming back. And he, like, you know, like, I'm I'm trying to come back, bro. Like like, what we doing? So I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? But uh, nah, it's it's uh it's dope, man. I'm happy to have Russ back. He means so much to the team. Just that small stint that he had with us, bro. He just changed the whole culture in that short of a time, and his ability to like do everything. Like he he's he's one of the, like just the the rare personalities, rare human beings in the league. 100 stand up dude um but to get him at at you know 4 4 million like that that's a huge deal and it just it talks it means a lot like from a standpoint of like who he is as a person right. you know what i mean like he could have went anywhere and and maybe made another 10 12 million but the fact that you know he and Russ found gonna us play like he getting paid 300 mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's the thing that's bro the, that's what he i'm gonna, saying he going to play and outperform like and, and, and have no shit. care about it yep. you know what i mean it ain't going to be like you might have somebody to be like oh, i ain't diving for that shit bro y'all don't pay me for that <laughs> Russell cold Russ going to go 100% yeah. yo yeah he don't ever and stop. he going to play every game oh. like he gonna that, play like with that's 7. a dog right million. there he going to play bigger than your country <laughs> yeah he's <laughs> like real talk yeah no for sure like that's how he is like it's crazy watching him play too yeah Different from playing on the court, I ain't never did that. But watching him play, that man, that man is is is, is different. And he's durable. That's different. what I love about him, man. Yeah, he's you know he's gonna play. Speaking of Russ Steel, I want to ask you something real fast because we know your welcome to the NBA moment was against Dame Dollar. I, 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 boop, boop, bop, bop. <laughs> we know that. But uh, give me your give me give me your give me give me a story about your first time. <laughs> Ever going up against <laughs> Russell Westbrook? Did uh, he bop, bop your ass too? Uh, <laughs> damn. First wow. time going against Russ, I don't necessarily remember like that first matchup. When I think about Russ, like my earliest stories about Russ, my second year, uh, we played the Lakers in the preseason. And you know, in that's sack, my team. that's my team. You okay, let that out. okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> and like, you know, in sack, when you play the Lakers or mm -hmm. you play uh, the Warriors, especially when I was like, I mean, we weren't we weren't good when I was a sack. So like, the fans were mainly <laughs> Lakers and Warriors fans, yeah. you know. It's a preseason game and it's cracking in there, like, cause uh, Russ had just Russ had just got there, like, just came over, yeah, right. he just came over. So it's like it's like one of their first preseason games, and I, I was starting, you know, I didn't start my whole rookie year, so I'm like, okay, let's see what see what this bump is about. <laughs> like the first play. Uh, Russ came down and hit Fox. And mind you, Fox is dumb strong, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Fox is dumb strong. Hit him, boom, laid it up. And Fox, like, you know, moved back a little bit. And he rocked the baby celebration. <laughs> and the crowd, it was like, who is that rocker? I was like, I was like, it's the first play of the preseason. <laughs> What you mean? Like this what the, this what this is about? Like cause they play. he rocking the baby, talking to the crowd, it's going everybody standing up going crazy. I'm like, nah, this is this is crazy. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what's going on. Yeah. That's the thing about Russ though. Russ and Fox, my whole like, cause we, we played him when he was in Washington my rookie year, and when I was with Fox our first half of the year, we probably played him like two or three times. Those two always go 
at it because they're it. both like super athletes. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? They're, they're super competitors. So like watching those two go out, I used to be like, yo, this is like a movie. Sometimes I just sit back like, mm -hmm. y'all got it. Mm -hmm. I'll spot up. Hey, Fox, if you need me, I'm right here, fam. I'm right here. But uh, that's my, my first, that's probably what I can remember most about yeah. for sure. Look, the NBA season is done, but that doesn't mean that prize picks is. Jackie, what's the next sport that's making you some money? What I'm doing? Playing a little baseball? Ah! Okay. Home run baseball, baby! Look, I'm up big thanks to my guys over there at the Dodgers, man. Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman, who are helping me cash out this season, but... The audience don't know what we're talking about right now. So let them know what Prize Picks is, Dallas. <laughs> Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players like the video on your screen. Then you pick if they will have more or less than their Prize Picks projection. You aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. Look, I know how much I won, but let the people know how much they can win at Prize Picks. You can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first-time users that deposit and use our promo code PODCASTP will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That means if you deposit $20, prize picks will give you $20. If you deposit $100, prize picks will give you $100. And y'all already know we do at this time. What we do, Dallas? Cha-ching! <laughs>